Welcome to Open IAM. In this demo, we will present our application to manage access policies for a tribute based access control using the ZACML standard. This application is a part of the Open IAM entitlement server. In RBAC, the subject is assigned to a role and executes actions that are authorized for the role. Permissions are assigned to job functions based on operations rather than to resource objects. In ABAC, the subject is allowed access to a resource based on attributes for a subject, resource, environment, and action. In this presentation, we shall discuss a use case where ABAC can be applied. We shall discuss how policies can be designed to control such access. We will then use the Open IAM and Talent Server to set up and manage such policies. We also recommend that you take a look at the Products and Talent Server ZACML section to get an overview of the ZACML model. We will use a fictitious healthcare organization, MEDS, for this example. MEDS has two kinds of resources that need protection. Patient prescription records, which start with Rx, and patient information records, which start with info. Three sets of users try to access these records, patient, doctor, and admin. Patients are allowed to read only their own prescriptions. Doctors can read or write prescriptions for their own patients. Admins can read all info records, but are not allowed access to any prescription records. Meds policy sets will be designed to control access to all resources at meds.com. It includes Rx policy to control access to prescription records, admin policy to control access for admins. When a doctor tries to access meds records, the Rx policy applies the PCP rule. Does a subject trying to access the records have PCP as a role attribute? This rule has a further condition. Is the subject's ID attribute equal to the resource PCP attribute? If the above are satisfied, a permit response should be returned to the policy enforcement point. Otherwise, a, de de a deny will be returned and access to the resource will not be allowed. If a patient tries to access meds records, the Rx policy pl applies the patient rule. Is the subject's role attribute equal to patient's? If so, the rule will check for a condition. Does the subject ID equal resource patient attribute? Policies discussed above are managed using the policy administration application. Policy set. On this screen, we can set up a policy set. Meds policy set has already been entered. Policy. Now we can enter policy information. Rules. Policies are made up of rules. Here we can set up rules for policies. Conditions. Rules can have conditions. The patient rule condition checks if subject ID EQ resource patient attribute. Policy sets. We will now demonstrate entering a demo policy set. Policy. Now we will enter a demo policy.
How will the PDP know which policy to apply? Policy set, policy, rule are each associated with a target. If more than one policy or rule is applicable, a combining algorithm determines the result. Target. Here we can define the target name, such as meds policy target. Target category. A target can have four different types of attributes. Subject, resource, environment, and action. To define resource attributes for target, create a resource category. Next, define how you want to match the resource attributes. Here we just have one, resource ID, which we want to match to meds.com. In addition to resource, we can also set an environment restriction for this target. We will set ENV location to NY. Upon defining targets, we need to associate each policy set, policy, rule with their respective targets. On the policy set screen, we associate MEDS policy set with its target. We also define which policies will be included in this policy set. On the policy screen, we associate admin policy with the target and also pick the rules which make up this policy. Our policies are now ready to handle requests coming through the PEP and PDP. Thank you.